Hi guys, Ben here. This is the first crack uh, mobility tutorial video going to be uh, posted on the site. Um, going to show you some stuff for your hips and hamstrings, to try, to, try to loosen those things up for squatting. Uh, if you have any lower back pain, this is also a very uh, key, key thing to do. Um, some of you have probably done these before, others maybe not, so it's a little different. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a green band, going to put it on the post here, just a little lower than your hip, just about uh, your mid quad. Going to put your, uh, your leg in, doesn't matter which leg you start with. Going to put it up in the high hip area. Going to come forward, and then you're going to go down onto the banded knee, the banded leg. Um, from here, it's kind of like you're in a uh, sprinting stance. So from here, you're just going to kind of move above parallel, go down below, side to side, really, really moving around, moving that hip joint around um, just to get it nice and loose. This makes it a lot easier for, for squatting or like I said, for lower back pain, it's uh, pretty good for that. Um, so you're gonna do two minutes uh, each side for that. And then from there, uh, we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. So same, same thing up in the high hip area. You're gonna walk forward, put some tension on that, uh, the banded leg, which is gonna be in front. From there, you're gonna keep your back nice and flat, straight, you're gonna bend right over at the hip, feeling your hamstrings nice and, nice and tight here. Um, you can hold there if it gets too much. If you bend your knee, you'll release the tension. You can drop the chest a little bit more, lock that knee back out, and you'll uh, create the tension again. It's very, uh, very good for, like I said, for lower back pain. This is really good for, uh, for rowing or deadlifting. Uh, same thing, two minutes each side for that. Then we're going to do one more uh, up against the wall here. Going to come over, get your butt nice and close to the wall, as close as you can. From here, you're going to flip onto your back and put those feet flat against the wall. Uh, from here you can push, push your knees out to get those hip flexors nice and open. Move those feet apart as far as you can, get them as close down to your butt as possible. Try to do that for about two minutes. Uh, after that, you can do this, this is the next step. This is a little difficult to get into sometimes, but also very, very good stretch. So if you straighten out one leg, cross over the other one, bring that foot back down, and then try to just push, push your butt your hips down to the ground. You'll feel a nice stretch uh, on the side, the side of your butt. It's kind of like the pigeon stretch, but uh, this is much, much, much more, uh, more efficient, I feel like. Uh, so, try to do two minutes each side, uh, about four minutes each stretch. It's 12 minutes, not too much, uh, but it's very, very uh, efficient. You'll feel better, and uh, yeah, you'll like it. So, yeah, hope you guys like the first video. Hopefully, there'll be more to come. See you later.